Hey guys, it's Logan here with Hydra 572. Today I'm doing a VR for uh, Brother Jeff over at Rock Hall Knives. Now he didn't tag me in his tag video, but one of my best friendships here on YouTube with Cynric77 was started, I think because I did a response video um, to a video of his that I wasn't tagged in, so it's practically a tradition around here. And this one sounded like fun, so I wanted to go ahead and spread it out to you guys. So, the topic of this video is three battle blades. As far as I could tell, it's just three knives from your collection that you would take with you if you were going into combat right now. And uh, I thought that sounded really interesting, so I selected three of mine, and I would like to show them to you. First, I think I would go with the K-Bar Zombie Killer Tonto. There's a lot of problems with this blade as a uh, tactical fighting knife, as my main knife, but it is my largest piece of steel right now, and I think that extra reach would come in handy. Um, it's a thick old stock, so it's a heavy thing, and I think it would go through soft armor, uh, lots of layers of clothing to get the job done if it had to. I think that Tonto tip, being as thick as it is, could handle being shoved through a magazine, something like that, without catastrophic damage. Um, so overall, not a terrible design, and like I said, that extra reach would be invaluable. Um, if I had any hard cutting that had to be done on something dirty or scummy or whatever, I could probably just put it on these useless serrations here, as opposed to putting it on one of my other blades. I could just get out of the way on something that I wasn't planning on using much. So I think that would be my main battle blade that would be with me whenever I was out on duty and actually had a chance of fighting. Um, next, I selected the CRKT. Crawford Casper Dragon Claw. Um, I selected this one because it's smaller and it's compact, but it's still got a hell of a lot of a blade for uh, how small of a knife it is. And it's compact enough, sheath and all, that I can uh, take it with me wherever I'm going, whether I'm around camp or wherever I can always have a fixed blade that isn't too cumbersome. Uh, it fits in BDU cargo pockets, and I have this little... Uh, cord mark harness type thing going so I can uh, wear it underneath a shirt or over a shirt and uh, yeah good kydex holster I think this would be a good backup knife if something happened to this after something had happened to my rifle and pistol and all that um, so I think I would take that along as sort of my backup fighting blade now the next blade was difficult because I knew I wanted more of a utility type folder and I typically think of my larger folders as fighting knives um, because I'm not carrying around a huge fixed blade all the time. But when you're in combat, and when you've already got two um, fixed blades with quite a bit of weight to them, that third knife that you've got with you is probably only going to be your utility blade. I would probably want to keep these sharp as much as I could, uh, minus the serrations on that, which I would have no problem trashing. Um, so it would have been really easy for me to say that I'd take my ZT-0200, um, but I think I would prefer not to, just because it is heavy, it's got the recurve, so it's going to be difficult to sharpen out in the field. Like I said, it's a utility blade, so I'd probably have to sharpen it more often than I would like to. Um, and it's got a real hard steel on it, so the sharpening does take more time. So I think what I've selected is the Cold Steel AK-47. This is the larger one. And it's got a lot of qualities that I think make a lot of sense for a knife that blurs the line between uh, a fighter and a um, utility blade. It's got a really nice fit for my hand, it's really comfortable, uh, really strong with a G10 construction and the triad lock, um, and a very capable blade with a pommel. And I think if you had to use it as a fighter after your rifle went down and your, your pistol went down and both of your fighting fixed blades went down, if for whatever reason you have to go to your fighting folder, I think it's really capable, it's got the wave. Uh, so it'll be out of your pocket quick, and it is very strong, like we said. But it's also an easy profile to sharpen. Um, it's got a lot of belly for uh, utility-type tasks. It is a capable cutter. And OS8 is easier to resharpen. Um, so I think it makes a lot of sense. So right now, those are my three blades that I would take if I had to go into combat. Jeff, thank you for a very interesting video. Uh, not sure where it started, but I enjoyed your video. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out Jeff's channel and see his video. And the three people I'm going to tag, I think, will be Cynric77, um, Bikes and Blades, who I know probably won't respond, and um, Superfly Fat Guy. So I would appreciate it if you guys would get a video up, make a video response. Uh, I think it's a pretty interesting topic. And as always, uh, I've tagged three people in specific, but if you're one of my subs, if you have a camera, and if you're interested in this, uh, go ahead and make a video. I'd love to know what all my subs think. Um, and yeah, I'll accept them if you guys make them a VR, so that way we can all uh, have them relatively concise. So, hope you guys make VRs, hope you find it as interesting as I did. Um, yeah, 
Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more of the same.